Kashin Hausa na BBC ke magana kan ya tsaya shafu mu na BBC hausa.com ko akan mita 16 da 16 da kuma wasu tashoshin FM a wasu kasashe na Africa ko ta tashar talaba jinta na wasu da ake samu ta tauraron dan adam ma saurare Umay Musana Abdul Mu'min ke muku sallama a cikin shirin mu na karfe 3 da 2 a gogon Najeriya da Niger wato biyu da 2 a gogon GMT da Ghana ชิงชนะจากที่ชื่อว่าสวีเดนนายดูมาอยู่ว่าเราเข้ามาถ้าคำใบว่าอันสันดายดามาร์ฮานาดูคนมาชินเดียวกับอะไรสักกี่คนอ
Pia da mutani dubu biarne aka kashi aloka chi daya. Ya yinda ungyar da kikiran kanta adawla la islama. Tama mi yenki nsu a shikara ta dubu biuda kwa mashahudu. Tukarishang labarun tunir kina. Tu madala agayi sheki zulaiha abu bakar. Zam Sumaro Hotani ni daga Sweden inda kasar ta ce wata kilta dau matakin baiwa yan sanda iko hana duk wani mutum da ya kokarin kona wato kona Alqur'ani kungiyar hadin kan musulunci ta yi da Allah wadai da Sweden da Denmark kan gazawa wajen hana ci gaba da aiwatar da wannan mummunan dabi'a da wasu masu ikirarin fafutaka suka girgiro a kwanan nan Gadiro Hotan Aisha baban gida a wani tare mane ma labarai a Stockholm Prime Minister kasar of Kristensen yana ce kan cewa ka'idojin yancin fada albarkacin baki za su ci gaba da kasancewa amma ya ce zai iya zama wajibi a dauki matakan da suka dace idan akwai wata barazana ga tsaron kasar masu övervägande var så regeringen om en ändring av ordningslagen ya ce gwamnati na nazarin ko ana bukatar yin sauye sauye ga dokar wani zan da zaman lafiya tsakanin jama'a da kuma yadda za a iya aiwatar da su ba muna magana ne kan takaita yancin fadan albarkacin baki ba muna magana ne kan batun sharudin da sai an cika su kafin a ba wasu jama'a izinin yin taruka da kuma ba da damar yin la'akari da karin abubuwan da ke iya kawo matsalan tsaro na gaba daya ba kawai na cikin gida ba saboda haka wannan abu ne da ke bukatar a yi tunani mai zurfi a kansa ba abu ne da za a yi cikin gaggawa ba mutane da dama sun kona kofin alqur'ani da dama a bainar jama'a a kasashen sweden da kuma denmark lamarin da yasa kasashen musulmi masu rinjaye a yankin gabas ta tsakiya suka mayar da martani a fusace a jiya a wani taro na musamman da kungiyar hadin kan musulunci OIC mai mazauni a kasar saudi ya tayi ta bukaci kasashen mambobinta da su dauki duk wani mataki da suka ga ya dace domin mayar da martani babban sakatarin kungiyar Hisan Ibrahim ya ce ya kamata kasashen Sweden da Denmark su hana ayyukan kyamar addini da ake yi da sunan yantin fada albarkacin baki kasashen biyu dai sun ce sun yi watsi da ayyukan kyamar addinin Islama kuma suna aiki kai yadda za a magance matsalar an gaida Aisha baban gida da wannan rahoton to idan muka je Jamhuriyar Niger in kasar ne suka fara ji a jikin su tambayar da kungiyar kasashen ECOWAS ko sai dai yawo suka bayyana takunkumin da suka kaka bawa kasar wasu yan kasar musamman yan kasuwa sun kara kudin kan kayayyakin masarufi ta haka ne kuma wasu kasashen mabubu kungiyar suka fara aiwatar da hukuncin inda kasar Benin ta rufe iyakar ta da Niger din daga yau mai ga rahoton cima ila Yusufu Tuna dai kasashen da ke makwabtaka da Niger mambobin kungiyar ECO suka fara aiwatar da takunkumin da taron shugabannin kasashen yankin ya yanke ranar Lahada a Abuja kamar yadda kasar Benin ta rufe kan iyakar ta da Niger kin wasu majoyi da dama sun bayyana cewa manyan motoci da ke kan hanyar su ta zuwa ya mai doke da kwantinoni da yawa daga tashar ruwan Kotonu a halin yanzu na tara akan iyakar kasar a bangaren Benin sai da yanzu majoyin matafiya na ci gaba da kai komon su ba wata matsala Niger babbar abokin hulɗar tashar jira ke ruwata bene na yo o da kayayyaki da take shigowa da su daga kwatanu kamar motoci abinci magunguna da sauran su alƙaluma sun yi kiya sun cewa a kowace rana motoci dubu ɗaya ne ke tsalla kowa daga kasar ta bene a babban birnin ya mai dai tuni kayayyakin masaruhi suka fara tashin gwabran zago a wani shago na shinkafa da dalika na tado mai shago yana waya yana neman shinkafar daga diloli ba yanzu yana waya ba wallahi da wani ne ya kira wasu yace ba wallahi a shino no mu shino ya ta yi hudu ya kare a hudu ne sa hudu ne sa babu babu ne to ya zamu to wannan da suka duka kadan kadan dai akwai na ce mu da yake da barboshi kuna ga da biki hakan da shi ya so ta dai daga cikin abokan da shi mu nan take ya shiga ce na kin shinkafar shinkafa na wani wannan wannan masara john masara kartozun kartozun ne wallahi shi ka sha hudu shi ka sha hudu kartozun ne john da wannan shi ne kenzun ไอ้ชีเนเคนซิมเคนซิมเอ้ยโทนะไอ้ดาวะฮักคนนี้ใช่ไหมดาวะฮักคนนี้ใช่ไหมเนี่ยสักการะคนนี้โอ้วะไล
amma he ga shi kwazam shi kawa sai ka ganta hanji ka goma sha hudu a cikin kasuwa mutane da suka ji wannan rubutari na rige iyaka ko kuma na kunda tsakanin kasashen sai da yau da mu kawai shikenan kawai ya aka samu dalili na kara farashi abun baya da kan gado yau in wani sirriye iyaka so wasu ko sirriye ko kuma mutane ba sa sai a saurare labaru babu hujja ta kameme wanda zai ce a'a ko abinci yayi kadan ko sto yayi kadan jimilla akwai ta ko ajiya majalisar ceto ta kasa karkashin jagorancin shugaban ta jarar Abdurrahman Chani ta yi wani zama na musamman tare da ɗan kasuwa inda ta bukaci ɗan kasuwar su shigo da abinci ta iya karbar kina faso sai dai majuyi da dama na cewa ɗan kasuwa sun bayyana rashin yiwuwar hakan saboda ɗan bindiga sun ma mai yankin da ke makubtaka da Niger King Jima'i Le Isufu BBC Hausa daga Yamai Jamhuriyar Niger to a makwabciyar Niger dan wato Nigeria a yau aka shiga rana ta biyu da aikin tantance ministoci a majalisar dattijan kasar a zaman ta na yau ana sara majalisar dattijan za ta tattance sauran mutum 14 da shugaba Bola Ahmed Tinubu ya miƙa sunayen su ciki har da tsofaffun gwamnati da kuma wasu masu bawa shugaban kasar shawara a jiya majalisar ta samu damar tattance mutum 14 ciki har da tsofaffun gwamnati jihohin Jigawa da Rivers wato Muhammad Badaru Abubakar da yan samu wiki to yanzu aka kai tsi mana tare da Raliya Zubair wanda ke bibiyar yadda aikin tantance war ke gudana Raliya barka da shigowa barka da warhaka Umaima to kamar menene ne karin bayani kan halin da ake ciki yanzu to a karin bayani shine dai zuwa yanzu a zaman ta na yau majalisar dattijan ta tantance mutum hudu wata kuma fara ne da tsohon gwamnatin jihar Ibonyi David Omahi wanda da farko dai ya dan bada takaitaccen wato tarihin sa amma bai sallah aka dida cewa ya taba zama sanata a majalisar sai shi shugaban majalisar dattijan wato Godwin Apabio wato yace ya wai ya bashi damar tafiya wato wannan al'adar nan tasu ta wato kadan rusuna ka tafi bawo an go eh bawo an go daga nan kuma sai aka kira wato Adebayo Olawale Edun daga jihar Ogun wanda ya amsa tambayoyi da wasu sanotoci wato suka yi masa a cikin su dai za a ce shine ya shafe kusan fiye da awa ɗaya da rabi dai yana bayani kuma yana amsa tambayoyi daga wurin wato sanotoci daban-daban akan abin da ya shafe kiwa lafiya amma an kore shi ya <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Kanto gaba shirin zamu ji jahar Kano inda ake zanga zanga kan tsadar rayuwa. A yau sakataren harkokin wajen Burtaniya zai fara wata ziyara a Najeriya kasa ta biyu a cikin kasa shi uku da yake ran gadi a Nahiyar Afirka. A yayin ziyarar James wato James Cleverly zai gana da shugaban Najeriya Bola Ahmed Tinubu inda kuma ake sa ran zai bayyana tallafi na miliyoyin famafamai ta fuskar ayyukan gona da samar da abinci a nuga Najeriya haka kuma ana sa ran ziyarar za ta taimaka wajen yau kaka dangantaka tsakanin kasashen biyu ga Habiba Adamu dauke da karin bayani cikin wannan rahota a cewar wata sanarwa wadda ta fito daga ofishin harkokin waje da kungiyar Commonwealth da kuma samar da cigaba na Britania sakatan harkokin wajen James Cleverly zai fara ziyarar a Najeriya ne da jihar Lagos cibiyar kasuwancin kasar inda ta kara da cewa zai sanar da kudi fa miliyan 10 wato kwatan kwacin sama da dalar Amurka miliyan 12.2 da 700 wanda Burtaniya tare da hadin guyo wani kamfanin hadahadar kudade nan gina ababan moral rayuwa da suka hada da samar da makamashin da ake sabuntawa a gidaje a Burani da kuma samar da gidajen da za a kewaye da itatuwa da ba sa cutar da mahalli kuma a gobe ne Mr. Cleverly zai kara so Abuja inda zai gana da shugaba Bola Tinubu kuma ake saran za su tattauna kan dangantaka da ta shafi kasashen biyu da suka hada da nacci na kaiya da zuba jari da tattalin arziki da kuma inganta al'amuran tsaro haka kuma a babban birnin kasar ne zai sanar da wani shiri na fam miliyan 55 kwatan kwacin sama da dalar al'amurka miliyan 70 dan ban kasa tattalin arziki a yankunan karkara da kuma tallafin kusan fam miliyan 3 wato kusan dala miliyan 3 domin ban kasa harkar noma da ake fatan zai amfani kimanin mutane miliyan 4 na kasar a karkashin wannan tallafi ne na harkar noma zai hada da inganta lafiyar dabobi da samar da iri da zai jure wasayin yanayi da bullo da wasu hanyoyin yin girki da tsaftataccen makamashi don rage gurbataccen iska tare da samar da yanayi tsaftatacce tsakanin bil adama da tsirrai da kuma halittu dake cikin ruwa haka kuma a ziyarar tasa ta Najeriya wadda ita ce irin ta ta farko sakatan harkokin wajen na Burtaniya zai kuma ziyarci cibiyar samar da kayayyakin agaji ta sama ta majalisar dinkin duniya a Abuja inda a can ne zai samu bayanai kan yadda aka kashe kudaden da kasarsa ta samar dan tallafa al'umomi masu rauni a yankin Arewa maso gabashin Najeriya kudaden da yawan su ya kai fam miliyan 38 wato fiye da dala miliyan 48 kafin zuwa su Najeriya da Mr. Cleverly ya fara yada zango ne a kasar Ghana inda kuma a ranar Alhamis ne zai wuce kasar Zambia inda daga can ne kuma zai kamala ran gadin da yake yi a Afirka Habiba Adamu BBC Hausa a Abuja Najeriya to sai kuma jahar Kano Najeriya dake arewacin Najeriya inda ga mayar wasu kungiyoyi suka gudanar da zanga zangar nuna rashin jin dadi game da abin da suka kira matsatsi ko ince matsi da kuncin rayuwa da yan kasar suka tsinci kansu a ciki yan kungiyoyin wadanda suka ko suka baza akan titunan jahar Kano sun hada har da kungiyar dalibai inda suke neman gwamnati ta sassauta yanayin da ake ciki na tsadar rayuwa daga kanan ga karin bayani a cikin wannan rahotan na Zahara Dallawan so zanga zanga maza da mata wasan su dauke da alunan da aka rubuce rubuce sun yi korafi game da wahalalin da suka ce janye tallafin mun fitar din da gwamnatin shugaba ta nubu ta yi ne ya jaza halin da aka shiga kuma da sani Ibrahim Narogo shine jagoran ga mayar kungiyoyin da ake kira join action front a Kano iran da shugaban kasa ya karbi rancuwa a ranar ya yanke mana hukunci na mutuwa ne ko ranar ya yanke mana hukunci na mutuwa a ranar ya ce mana ya cire tallafin mai wanda tallafin mai zaka koma baya shekara 13 da wannan mutumin muke wannan sabgar lokacin Jonathan ba sai yadda da wannan abin da ake ba kuma idan ma cewa ake wasu ne suke kwashi kudin me yasa ba zai kawo wasu mutane wanda ya yadda da su ba yanzu sauci ne yana cirewa ne a jikin talaka kuma ko wannan kudin da ake magana cewa za a ba wa mutane tallafin mai kana da yakinin cewa zai shiga cikin halin talaka a irin wannan yanayin da ake ciki ba hannun ya'an wadanda suke da dama za a ba ma ba kuma tana ta kokari ta bullodo tsare tsare zai kyauta ta rayuwar yan Najeriya ko kuma kuna cewa lalle lalle sai an dawo da wannan talafin mun fitar ba ga kamar ku soyayya tunani ganin cewa gwamnati ta riga ta yanke shawarata Allah sarki talakan Najeriya har kullun kowane shugaba da irin yaudar da yake zuwa mu talaka wallahi alazimu na giya ma idan muna raye zan giya ma wannan zan can ba gaskiya ba wannan zan can ba zai ma tabbata ba mu fatan mu Najeriya ta ci gaba amma wannan abin da suka dauko an fito ne a ganin zawa talaka ba dan talaka suke ba suna yi dan biyan bukatar su wakile ne na banku 
tsakanin duniya shine abin da suka zo yi tunanci suka zo yi kuma Allah zai shiga tsakanin mu su amma ku ina ka ce ku ba da shawara matsayin ku ne kungiyoyi kuma dalibai me za ku ce shawara ta wuce ku koma baya kai reversing abin da ka fada ka tallafa mutane abin da ya kamata a kona abu ne ya wuce wannan ka sauka mutane me yasa da ka zo neman biyan bukata ka lokacin da ka zo gurin mutane kake neman a zabe ka kai mutane dadin baki za mu yi wadda ka zo da zalunci wannan ba daidai bane ba za mu yi da irin wannan yanayin ba kungiyoyin sun hada da na mata da dalibai da ko masu dajin kare haƙin bani adama Komarat Fatima Muhammad Umar na daga cikin su ta ce babban abin da ya fitar mata da hankali shine walhalin da ake sha mata ne suka fi dan dan kudar su ai ba karan wahala in Nigeria suke ciki ba abubuwa sun linka sun linka jiye na hadi da wata mata ta ce daga ja'in zuwa sabon titi wajen mandori da 500 take biya da yaran ta yanzu 1500 take biya kuma mu mata mu muka fi shan wahala tunda mu ne muke harkoki na yau da kullun na iyali da gida makaranta da sauran ayyuka wanda suka shafa iyali muna so a mayar da kudin fetir yadda take a da saboda gaskiya karin nan ba karamin wahala ya jefa mu a ciki ba sannan kuma abubuwa duk sai da dadda da tabarbarewa yake abubuwa da ya kamata da mutun zai iya samu dama ya sabu hannunsa akan sa abun ya gagara yanzu tuni kungiyoyin kwadago a Najeriya suka lashi takobin gudanar da zanga zangar limana goba a sassan Najeriya kan wadannan matsaloli da suka ce sun da bai bai yan Najeriya wallahi na zuwa ne a daidai lokacin da hukumomin Najeriya ke girada cewa za su samar da dabarun da za su dagewa a jama'a kunci ciki har da samar da motocin bus bus a sassan kasar Zahiruddin Lawan BBC Hausa daga Kano a Najeriya to madalla yanzu kuma bari mu yada zango a Kamaru inda rundunar tsaro ta hadin guyo a yankin Tafkin Chadi ta miƙawa wasu al'umomi shiya ta daya na wannan rundunar da ke Kamaru wasu ababan mura rayuwa da suka hada da dakunan karatu da wuraren samar da ruwan sha rundunar ta ce ta haka ne a wani mataki na kullu zumunci da ba da taimako ga fararen hula da suke fama da hararren kungiyar Boko Haram wadannan kayayyaki kuma sun samu ne karkashin tallafin da kungiya tarayya Turai ta bayar sa'annan wasu kungiyoyi masu zaman kansu kamar su ko ginta da kuma staff lak saka aiwatar da kudururin manjojana ibrahim sallau ali shine commander rundunar tsaro ta hadin guyiwa a yankin tafkin chadi kuma yayi karan haske game da wannan manufata su a cikin rahoton muhammad babalala abin da ya kawo mu nan yau mora kasar kamaru shine dan mu zo mu kaddamar da ajujuwan da aka gina wato wannan ajujuwan ne an gina su an european union man da suke aiki tattara da mu to multinational joint tax was asashen da suke kawaice da juna a tafkin chadi su suka taimaka suka bada gudumawa suka zo suka gina ajujuwan nan saboda yaran da suke nan mora a da kamar yanda muka samu labari yau wato wacce take kula da wannan makarantar da ofishin ta a karkashin bishi a tike aiki to amma gashi yau Allah ya sa an zo an gina mata office inda za ta gudanar da ayyukan da ya shafi wannan makarantar a cikin kwanciyar hankali a cikin walwala wannan abin da aka kaddamar yau ya kara inganta rayuwar su mutanen mora yaran mora wayanda suke makaranta a nan gurin garuruwa uku ne irin su amcale kangaleri da tuski dukan su a cikin karamar hukumar mora suka samu cin moriyar wadannan dakunan karatu da wuraren samun ruwan sha sai dai kuma rundunar da karun hadin guyiwa na ci gaba wani fanni daban inda ta maida hankalin ta wurin gina dakin gwaje gwaje da kuma na karbar marasa lafiya a bunderi da duk irin ire-iren ababan da suka samu da wadanda kuma ake yunkurin samarwa magajin garin karamar hukumar mora Shatima Hamidu cewa yake yi visiblement nous constatons par l'accompagnement de la force multi international mixte dans l'amélioration yace a zahiran ce suna ganin irin da fa musu da rundunar tsaro ta hadin guyiwa a yankin tafkin chadi take yi wurin kyautata halin rayuwar al'umomin su kan baicin namijin kokarin da dakarunta suke yi a filin daga su sadaukar da rayuwar su domin su kare na al'umomi baki daya saboda haka a madadin al'umar na mora yake mika dubun godiya ga rundunar hadin guyiwa da abokanan hudar ta wadanda suka gama musu komai kamar dai da kowa ya sani rayuwa ta dogara ne akan shika shikai uku samar da lafiya samar da ruwan sha da kuma tarbiya 
daga karshe kuma komandan rundunar tsaro ta hadin guyuwa ta yankin tafkin chadi ya nemi hadin kan al'umar muraba ke daya wadanda yace ya kamata su dafa wa dakarun rundunar baya su kammala ayyukan da suka rage cikin kwanciyar hankali da zaman lafiya mai dorewa dangane da haka ne manjojanar Ibrahim Sallau Ali ya aika wa al'umar sako kamar haka yana cewa jama'an mura abun da muke so yanzu shine su ci gaba da taimaka mana kamar yadda suka saba wannan aikin tsaro da muke yi a tafkin chadi ba aikin soje bane ko kuma wato ɗan tsaro su kade a a aiki ne na kowa dole za mu taimaki juna ta hanyar samun labarruka na sarri wanda zai taimaka mana dan mu aiwatar da aikin mu mu cin maburin mu komandan rundunar tsaro ta hadin guyuwa a yankin tafkin chadi kenan manjo general ibrahim sallau ali a cikin rahoton muhammad baba lala to anan kuma rasha ce ta lala ta wasu jiragen ruwan ukraine guda uku mara samu tuka da ke kokarin kai hari kan wasu jiragen sojojin ta biyu a tekun bahar al-aswad sa'o'i kafin wannan lokaci an sake kai hari da jirgin sama marin matuki a tsakiyar birnin masko mai hada hada kamar yadda za ku ji a cikin fasarar rahoton sasha skalita Maikatar tsaron Rasha ta ce kwatsam da safiyar yau an waye gare wasu jirage marasa matuka da ke shawagi kan ruwa sun kai hari kan jiragen ruwa masu suntiri na sojojin ruwan kasar ta Rasha sai dai maikatar ta ce an dakile har haran wani abin da kuma ya kara tayarwa da al'umar birnin Moscow hankali shine yadda jiragen marasa matuka suka kara kai har hare kan cibiyar hada hada da ke birnin dama dai ranar lahadi an kai irin wadannan hararharan da jiragen marasa matuka akan wani gini mai tsawon gaske inda ma'aikatan raya tattalin arziki take yanzu haka an sheda wa ma'aikatan wannan ma'aikata da surunka yin aiki daga gida har sai baba ta gani makonni bi da suka gabata ma sun ga irin wadannan harahari inda jiragen marasa matuka suka kai wani hari kan wata gada da ke hada Russia da Crimea wadda kuma shugaba Putin ke matukar alfahari da ita to madalla an gaida Usman mai jibir da fasarar rahoton Sasha yanzu kuma sai labarin wasanni inda muke tare da Ibrahim Yusuf Muhammad Ibrahim baraka da shigowa baraka da warhaka umaima yau na ga an yi ruwan balabalai eh gaskiya kore da gaskiya yau dai kam an an yi ruwan kwallaye da yawa a wasan a gasancin kofin duniya na mata haka take a Australia da New Zealand to tashin farko dai um wato an ci Vietnam Netherlands ci Vietnam da ci bakwai da nema abun da aka bude fage da shi kenan yau sai kuma to amurka dai ta samu ta ketara da kyar inda ta samu suka yi changes da wasanta da da Portugal da gore da gaske amma dai still ta samu ta tsaye ketara zuwa zagaye na biyu saboda sakamakon wasan Netherlands da na Vietnam ya bata da mun take tara zuwa zakin. Idan na dan maida ka ba yanzu ita Netherlands ta hayi ita ma? Eh ita ma da Netherlands da Amurka suka kitara daga wannan rukunin da suka fito daga nan. So a dai wasan da aka buga kuma Ingila ta mai China rashin mutunci da shi shida da da. Ta lalla sa ta dai. Kware da gaske yau abun da bai dadi ba. Sai kuma Denmark ta ci Haiti ci biyu da nema. So wannan sakamakon yana nufi cewa Nigeria za ta buga da Ingila kenan yanzu a zaga yana biyu wanda za a fara a ranar litinin mai zuwa. Kace akwai kallo irin wannan kwallaye da suke zuba a raga wannan na nuna sai Nigeria ta shirya. Gaskiya sai yayin da gaske dai kam dai yanzu da Ingila Nigeria ta hadu a zaga yana biyu. To kamar akwai wani wato karin labaran wasannin ne banda na gasancin kofin mata a to sai dai yanda dai kinaka kamar yanda aka saba da har yanzu ana kan kasuwar ciniki yan wasa na turai ana na ana ta akwai rade rade da jita jita da sauran kuma abubuwa da aka yi amma yanzu matsalan babban magana da ake yanzu shine na magana hari ken na komawa bayan munich har yanzu dai ana na ana tattauna wa tsakanin bayan munich da tottenham akan komawan dan wasan na ingila can sun kawo ta yi har guda biyu an yi watsi da su kuma sun ce kudin da aka bayar bai kai ba sai an bayar da miliyan to ma da lamuna godiya kware da gaske da labaran wasanni Ibrahim Muhammad yanzu kuma ga Zulaiha ta shigo inda za ta ba mu kanin labaran duniya Maikatar harkokin wajen Faransa ta ce ya zama wajibi ta kwashe al'umar Turai daga Jamhuriyar Niger biyo bayan hanbar da gwamnati da kuma kai wa ofishin jakadancin Faransa hari a ranar Lahadi daga shekara ta 2020 sojoji sun karbe mulki a kasashe hudu na yammacin Afrika a rashi kuma kafofin yada labaran kasar sun ce an samu karuwar kai harahare akan cibiyoyin daukar sojoji ta shari'a da labarai ta baza ta ce masu kunna wuta sun kone guraren horan aikin soja tara a cikin sa'o'i 24 
amma kun dai gabata Russia ta kare yawan shekarun shiga aikin soja tare da sanar da tara akan wadanda suka bujirewa umarnin yin rijista a aikin soja na Russia to madalla an gaishe ki Zulaiha Abubakar kuna iya zuwa shafu mu na BBC Hausa.com domin da ci gaba da samu wasu labaran akwai ma shafu mu na kai tsaye inda muke kawo muku labarai kan abubuwan da ke faruwa a Najeriya da sauran sassan duniya amma da Abdul Halilu wanda shine ya shirya wannan shirin Daniel Ocha ya sada ni da ko ni Umay Masani Abdul Mu'min daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC nake cewa a ci gaba da kasancewa da mu a shirye-shirye mana gaba a huta lafiya Thank you.